It's finally starting to feel like summer, but we do have a little time to make sure that our bodies are ready for those swimsuits before we hit the lake. The Valley Today's Abby Furchner joins us live from EHP CrossFit to make sure we're not wasting our time at the gym. Good morning, Abby. Good morning, Lisa. I'm here with Carla Wolford, who is the EHP CrossFit owner. And one thing that's really important to make sure you're getting the best results is focusing on that form. And so you're going to show us some popular moves that people do at the gym, but probably not with the best form. Yeah, so a couple of the movements we see the biggest mistakes with is the deadlift. Okay. And I think a lot of people think they're going to hurt their backs while they deadlift, but if you do it correctly, it's probably one of the best low back and core exercises you can do. So with you guys, we're going to have that, that kettlebell. We're actually going to place it right in between our feet. And we want our feet shoulder to hip width apart. We're teaching a traditional deadlift. And we want a big chest, so like a big gorilla chest. And we want you to keep your back nice and flat, head neutral. So you're actually going to be looking towards the ground. So I'm going to have you hinge forward at the hips. And Coach Lucas is going to demo with you. And you're going to slightly bend those knees. Yeah, so bend your knees a little bit more. Look down. There we go. Set your core. And you're going to stand and squeeze your butt. And now send your butt back as you go down. Create tension in your hamstrings, bend those knees, and stand back up. So the common mistakes, you can set that back down. The common mistakes we see are people rounding their backs, uh, and we don't want that. The next is the squat. And the squat's my favorite because most people do it wrong. So we're going to pick up that smaller kettlebell. And you can look at Lucas for the demo. He's just going to turn it upside down. And we're going to keep a nice big chest. Everybody squats differently. Feet are a little bit wider, a little bit closer. So feet can be a little bit wider. You can toe your toes out. First thing that moves are your hips. Your hips are going to move backwards. So go ahead and send your hips backwards. Keep that chest up. Keep those knees towards those pinky toes. And you'll have a lot better form. And so those are just two common mistakes people make when it comes to form. And that's how you're going to get your best results is making sure that your form is on point. So just keep that in the back of your head. It's all in the tilt in your butt back. It's kind of what I just learned this morning. <laughs> Good stuff. Abby Furchner reporting live for us. Thank you.